Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Story Mode and Garabania, where we've just gotten our first big win. And darn, that feels good, doesn't it? Everyone's sort of reveling in the victory right now. Hey, good job with the whole glamoured flag thing. <sighs> For a moment there, I didn't think I could do it, but then I did. Good job. Your work is far from finished, as Conrad knows. There's still a chance that some Imperials are holed up inside the Castellum. We'll need to search it top to bottom to be sure it's safe. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapons at the ready. There's a chance you might come face to face with soldiers on the run, uh, en route. On second thought, it might be prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have gone to ground. We shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counterattack. When you've judged your work to be done, report to General Alden in Bittermill. You got it. I'll tidy up just a little bit along the way. Make sure none of y'all have anything to be concerned about other than the huge antlions, but... Y'all don't seem super bothered by them, so I'm sure they're nothing to be concerned about. Let's see, I don't know if we've gone this far southwest out here yet. That's a heck of a tree. Now, now. Surviving Imperials, we can't have that. Salt this, I'm not dying today. I have terrible news on that front. Y'all probably should have kept moving. But I guess you were on the wrong side of the bridge for that. Bad luck. What's this? I spy another. Don't come any closer! Yep, bad news on that front also. Shin's getting whacked. Alright, all tidied up. Let's get ourselves back- actually no, let's just go ahead and do it fast. We got a lot to do out here. Let's report to Raban. There we are. Ah, and the twins as well. How things go on your end. It's a good thing Monago got the flag flying when she did. Any longer and those Imperials might have had us at their mercy. The Bull of Alamigo has done it again. His assessment of Fordola's response was without error. It really was. Great call on that plan. Lieutenant, all's well at the bridge. Good, good. The fighting has died down here too, as you can see. Pippin left but a moment ago with a contingent of troops to occupy Veladina. If and when the Imperials return, they'll find us dug in behind their own walls. I could not have hoped for a better outcome, General. Splendidly done. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It'll take more than one Castellum to turn the tide. My men and I will deal with the remaining enemy forces. Scions, I bid you return to Commander Kemp and his men. They sent me to you. Well, here, I'll take the twins with me. Delight not over much in victory, not when there are battles left to fight. Our work here is finished. Our resistance allies are waiting. Yes, come join the celebration. And let's yeah, just get ourselves back there too. There we are. Saving time. From a stone bridge to a massive fortress, Garlean engineering never ceases to impress. They are pretty good at it, aren't they? Now that we've taken control of Veladina, there's nothing stopping us from marching east toward the peaks. If you're looking for Arnvald, I think he's with Pippin, searching the Castellum for any remaining soldiers. Alrighty. Back so soon. I suppose the General and his men had matters well in hand. The Vice Marshal and his men showed up not long after you left. If the gods are good, there'll be no one left to fight. Fingers crossed on that. Conrad would like just as much as you to resume your march east toward the peaks. I know you're not one for waiting, but if you'll bear with us. Commander Kemp, Marshal Terrapin reports that their sweep of the Castellum's interior has been completed. So it's finally over, eh? Bray extend to him my deepest thanks.
It's official, then. Castellan Veladina is well and truly ours. Mayhap this calls for... Wait, where's Monaco? She took her bird and flew off towards the Peering Stones, the village of the M tribe where she was born. I doubt that the Imperials who fled Veladina had a mind to give them trouble on their way back east, but she was nevertheless worried, so I gave her leave to go and see that her people were safe. Though I pray you're right, it would be best if Monago were not alone if she should encounter the enemy. Agreed. Let's all go to the Peering Stones and make sure that everything's all right. Works for me. If that is your wish, then I have no objection. Just let the guard know when you wish to cross. All right, let's go. May I pass? Greetings, Sion. Do you wish to pass? I do. Thank you very much. Achieved a lot already this week. So, uh, interesting little bit of trivia. This is, as you'll remember, the first zone of uh, the expansion, Stormblood. But uh, for all of the early hours we spent here, about half of the zone was inaccessible to us. Really, like this bridge was blocking off access to a lot of the rest of it. And uh, it's the same in the peaks. Only half of the zone was reachable. Once you have flight, you can get to all of these places pretty easily, but you can't get flight without doing a whole bunch of quests that uh, have the things you need to unlock it. So uh, it's not really until you get through the whole expansion that you can reach the rest of the stuff out here. Which is a clever way to set it up. Oh, good. You guys are good, too. Did you say you were for the Peering Stones? In that case, mayhap Marshal Terrapin and I should join you. We spied a suspicious pair earlier, a Hura and a Lalafell by the looks of them, but they fled when they realized they'd been spotted. If they're Imperials, then we can't have them stirring up trouble. Huh. Hura and a Lalafell. Since when did you become a bloodhound? The Makote ought to trust their ears, not their nose. Hey, what happened? <laughs> On your guard, Arnvald. They're still about. Oh, the pair, you noticed. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. We will soon start sending scouts east to survey the land in preparation for our advance. We do not anticipate much resistance at this time, but should we encounter any Imperial forces, we shall deal with them quickly and severely. I like that plan. All right, let me catch up to the gang. Oh, I think we can even see the spot up there. Yeah. I've caught up, everyone. But of course, tiring though it may be to come and go from the clifftop, it's easily defended and affords an excellent view of the surrounding area. This area is home to dangerous beasts. Not that we cannot handle, mind, but do not be surprised if something ravenous and slavering comes charging at you out of nowhere. Like a tiger. Hypothetically. The path to the village is through a tunnel just east of here. Follow me. Lead the way. Come on, quick friend. Oh, here we are, I guess. We may not have seen any Imperial forces thus far, but we mustn't forget that this was occupied territory until very recently. They could still be nearby. Very true. Not just Seekers of the Sun, but Ananta. And mayhap there is a settlement nearby. I spy an M-Tribe Ranger. For those of you who are, like, unfamiliar, I think I have mentioned this in previous episodes, but the M-Tribe, uh, the way that Makote work, uh, at least uh, some of them, with their naming structure is, you know how a lot of them have a single letter starting their name and then an apostrophe and then the rest of their name? That single letter is sort of like a family name. It signifies their tribe. So the M-Tribe, Monago, belongs to the M-Tribe. Not all Makote work that way, but a lot of them out here do. Welcome to the Peering Stones, home of the M-Tribe. 
I must give you a fair warning that while travelers are welcome here, any acts of hostility will be met with an arrow shaft between the eyes. No exceptions. Strict. But fair. Excited to see your village. And also attuned to this etherite crystal out here. Just for convenience and whatnot. Let's start with that. There we are. Hey. Nice view from here. Well, what do you think? Hard to tell from down below that a whole village is up here, isn't it? Yeah, other than the etherite, that kind of gave you all away. You should, like, throw a tarp over that or something. Just a little spinning tarp out in the middle of nowhere. No one will suspect a thing. Lightly glowing. Ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire and were content to remain within their borders. Just so, the Kaliana forsook their pride in the fight and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. For Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge weeping for her child. Until you came. The Broodmother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Vordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come. 
For in her despair, the Kalyana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. She summoned a primal then and there? That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kalyana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us? I, all who have fought with the resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the icon slayer. My reputation precedes me. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. I'm sure we can knock this out right quick. Do I want any of these? Hmm. Let's see what sort of style they are offering various jobs. So tanks could get something like this, which, hey, not bad. Pretty good tank look. Uh, Dragoons could get this, kind of like a different colored version of it with a little bit more spiky flair. Not bad, not bad. I could get this, which feels a little heavily armored for what I'm doing these days, but... And ninjas, that also feels a little heavily armored. They'll kind of often do that, like, uh, tanks and dragoons will kind of have, like, sort of the same armor, but different colored versions. Uh, monks and samurai will have a, a thing. Ninjas will have a thing. Uh, healers and magic damage dealers will have kind of different pallet swap versions. Like, it's a way for them to be a little bit more efficient and works pretty well for the leveling gear. But, no, nope, I am good with my look right now. Thank you. Sounds like we got a primal problem for me to take care of right quick. I still can't believe that a primal's been summoned so close to the village. The idea that our people could be taken to serve as thralls is... It just doesn't bear thinking about. Don't worry, I'll handle it. This is all for Dola's fault. Yeah, you're kind of right. And now we have a primal to contend with as well. As if the Empire needed an excuse to start rounding up beastmen again. You have slain many icons before, yes? Then please put an end to this madness. I shall try. Alphano has heard this story too many times before. Ahem. <clears throat> At the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I've been rather too willing to accept that we have no other recourse than to risk our lives, or rather, your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we've faced thus far have been uh, have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana made delight in battle, but Ramu would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Ere we decide to challenge Sri Lakshmi, it would seem wise to learn more of her nature for those who summoned her unto this world. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north will you find our village. Sarisha shall unfold all. We shall leave at once. Manago, can you inform our comrades at the bridge of what happened? Of course. Be safe, my friends. I like that strategy, Alphano. Also appreciated. You care about me. Ha ha. Nerd. Where am I going? Right. Sarisha, the Ananta village. On our way there. And not too far, I don't think. Just a bit north. That looks promising. 
cool architecture style. Gonna need that. I'll grab it later. May I come through? Welcome, Strider, to Vera Nilia. You are among friends here. Oh, this is not the this is not exactly the village I was looking for, but it's full of friendlies, and I like that. Welcome, adventurer. What brings you to Viranilia? Um, passing through, but please tell me about yourself. I am Nisha of the Vera, the great warrior tribe of the Ananta. We are born of Sri Lakshmi, the Lady of Bliss. She created us in her image, and in the doing imparted to us great gifts. We are blessed with her beauty, and so we have scales. We are blessed with her prolificacy, bearing many children, all of which are female. And we are blessed with her vitality, as we age quite slowly. Ananta are born from eggs, and as we shed our skin, our scales only grow more lustrous and brilliant. It is one of the secrets to our everlasting beauty. Neat. What kind of place is this? This is Vera Nilia, sanctuary of the Vera tribe. We cherish the freedom of our people, as does our great mother, Sri Lakshmi. It is why we fight with the resistance against the Imperials. Unfortunately, our sisters of the Kalyana do not share this vision. They are obsessed with gymcraft, and have grown content to ignore our plight in pursuit of preternatural beauty. What was once a temple and tribute to our mother is now a fortress they covet as theirs and theirs alone. By all rights, it is we, we who should safeguard the people. The Vera could easily take control of it, but our leader, Sarisha, insists we can resolve matters peacefully. I pray she is right. Sarisha is your leader, not the place. Got it. Glad I asked you about this. That would have been embarrassing. As a first impression to make during introductions. Do you have any wisdom to share? We make great efforts to preserve not only our own beauty, but that of our home. That is why we ask those who visit Veranelia to, to take care not to make a mess. I shall try. Hello. Nice to meet you, Sarisha. Person and not place. We do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings and well met. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and we come seeking Sarisha of the Vera. You are she, are you not? You have petitioned us for aid and succor, and we intend to provide them. But we would first learn more of Sri Lakshmi, that we might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. A simple request, and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created in her image, daughters blessed with her beauty. Her breath became ours, her serenity our solace. There is naught she would not give. Hmm. T'was the Kalyana Broodmother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection, which first called forth Sri Lakshmi from the ether. That being the case, I rather doubt the goddess will be spoiling for a fight. Well, that would depend. The primal's motives will have been colored by the summoner's state of mind, namely that of a grieving mother who had just borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she apparently craved a miracle, she may also have harbored threats of vengeance. Moreover, the Kalyana's conception of Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vera. This is true. The Vera and the Kalyana do indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. To the Vera, Sri Lakshmi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will, and so we stand with the resistance against the Empire and give our lives for the cause. To the Kalyana, however, she embodies transcendental beauty, which they strive to create through their craft. To shape a crystal is less art and more ritual, a sacred duty wherein each tribute is imbued, uh, is imbued with a fragment of the soul. The Imperials do not interfere with this holy work, and so the Kalyana are, in, are content to turn inward and ignore our plight. Until reality asserted itself and they summoned a primal, a fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see that it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands. Nothing will change. The Ananta will. The Kalyana bade the Vera make pilgrimage to pay proper respects, remember? Those who do not wish to partake of the Primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Kalyana. Will you help them to see reason? Well, know that I'll kill your god if I gotta. <laughs> Maybe even if I don't. German, come on. This is not how diplomacy works. 
You can count on us. Then we shall, for without you we may be powerless to stop them. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it's settled. We're going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Vajra will guide you to uh, Janan Kat, and I shall pray for your success. It's a plan, then. Nice to meet you. Right. All set, everyone. I'm reminded of the tragedy we bore witness to beneath Orgomoro, when poor Gabu cried out in despair and rage, and Titan came forth in answer. I had a suspicion that's what Alice was also thinking about. We need to go. I won't be late again. Not like in Limsa. We'll take care of it, don't worry. I'm not sure why Alice is so eager to face this primal all of a sudden, but you won't hear me complaining. Long story, I'll explain later. Well met, Scions. I am Vazra, she who shines bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. Then command, we gotta go. Places to be and peoples to save. Vazra is ready to guide you to Janan Kat, which I hope I'm saying somewhere near correct. You are ready? Hmm. You look ready. Thank you. Janan Kat. There you find the Kalyana's crystals and Sri Lakshmi. Follow me. Lead the way. My bird will follow. And I will sit upon that bird and rest my feet. I think I'm getting close. Here we are. Um, are we there? I don't see anything. I expected more resistance. Let us pray our luck holds. It would be in our best interest to avoid any confrontation unless absolutely necessary. The primal and the crystals are our primary objectives. I'll remember. We should follow their lead and let them do any fighting for now. You'll need your strength when the time comes. That's true. This isn't even, like, the main fight we're here for. Janan Kat. The path leads to an entrance above. Within is an etherite. You must use it to enter. Understood. With me, everyone. I'm with you. Where's this etherite thing? Pardon me, large bird. I've got... got things to do. Now that is a large antlion. I'm gonna... Walk well clear of that thing. And be glad that I am probably too high level to get aggroed by it. Oh. Also, be glad that I'm too high level to get aggroed by you and your kin. I don't really feel like fighting and killing you a lot. Seems counterproductive. Cool place you got, though. I like it here. Shiny. Derman still loves him a good shiny crystal. And that is a good shiny crystal if ever I saw one. Cool looking. Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. 
she she is silent and empty only the vessel may be remade not so the flame which flickered within her soul hath been scattered to the four winds Alice. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alice, have you gone mad? Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood. No! We come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This hath ever been my promise, naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. I guess we're going then. Hello. For every prayer that Primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! Poor, misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. Here we go. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. Well, we gave diplomacy an honest try, at least. I knew things were not going to end well the moment she stepped out of hiding. They probably weren't going to end well anyway, but... Ugh. Is there really no way we can fight alongside you without being turned into one of her dreamers? I am afraid not. I know, I know, it was stupid and foolish, but... But I had to try, Derman. I had to. I had to try, and I failed. So you have to fight. There's no other way. So it goes. 
Again, all true, but I do like that we have several different flavors of true answer to give. Primals cannot be suffered to live, and you know this. And I will wake them from the dream, but please never do stop trying. It means a lot to hear you say that. It does. But it doesn't make it any easier to have to ask you to face that... thing. We can but do that which is within our power. Lise, Alphano, and I will go and seize their crystal stores. This will not happen again. And you, when it's finished, will be waiting for you. Sounds like a plan. I got to do a primal fight, which means I got to rally a crew. Let me get a party full of friends. I'll be right back. All right, got ourselves a party full of geese assembled and ready to go. I'll introduce them once we're inside, since we got that nice screen for it. In the meantime, Emanation. Upon witnessing her daughter's death at the hands of Fordola and her skulls, the Kalyana broodmother cried out to the heavens in despair, and a primal answered. Sri Lakshmi, patron deity of the Ananta, came forth from the ether, and the Imperials were put to flight. Alas, the tale did not end there, for now the Kalyana demand that the Vera come and pay tribute to the goddess, and so it falls to you and your comrades to journey on to the Kalyana stronghold of Janankat and put an end to Sri Lakshmi's dream. Sounds good. Let's get ourselves in. Commence. This is a very pretty trial battle. Just look at that floor. And the good tunes also. And a good crew! Huzzah! Now let's see if I can get them to stay up here. They probably won't stay right away, but then there'll be a... Should be a window there. There we are. Yes. All right. So our two tanks today will be Jess and Nismith. Our healers will be Issy and like good portrait and Esok. And helping me out with the damage will be Vivico, also very good. Uh, Astra, a lot of good portraits here today. And Alexia. Look at this good-looking crew. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a good time. Thank you all very much for joining. I am very excited for this victory we're about to have. Let's get to it. Got a couple of ads we need to take care of first. Open your heart to me. There are several important mechanics to mind. Whoop. Look elsewhere. Several important mechanics to mind in this fight. I'll explain them as they come up, but these little bubbles that have popped up are things we're going to want to run into from time to time to restock this special Vril ability we have here. Who are you to wake them from the dream? A sliver of grace I bequeath to you. And now we're in a fight. There are some key abilities. Uh -oh. So, see I've been targeted with this thing and see the danger puddle that's following it? I should really be moving this somewhere better. <laughs> but uh, there's a danger puddle following me in a cross pattern, same with Vivico, and we need to place it somewhere where we won't be overlapping, but nobody else will be standing in a danger spot either. I should have moved it farther back so people who are melee fighters could actually get close to the boss to keep hitting them instead of having to stay a distance away for a while, but no one died. So anyway, this real ability will basically negate damage of an attack when you use it, just put you in a little safety bubble, which is good because there are certain attacks that uh, it's the only way to defend yourself. All right, these two have been hit with another little ability that's going to not only leave an AOE wherever they're standing, but also leave a little uh, damage puddle that'll stick around. So good for them to move that out to the outside. Rest your weary souls in my bosom. Now is the time to use Vril, because the boss is about to do an ultimate and be very large. So everyone bubble up. Partake of my life and my love. We are all now seduced. Light, 
But we're all okay. I shall free you from your hate. Uh, the spectacle on Primal Fights is so good now. Just every time. I love it. But now I have spent that real bubble I had, so I'm going to need to collect another. And use it for this, because otherwise, this attack will knock you right off the stage. And I got a couple of us. Ooh, our healers. That's not ideal. <laughs> this will be very interesting. We might have to give this another go. I'm not sure that Sans healer... We can pull this one off. Impressively, we are hanging in there, actually. Our damage pace has slowed down considerably because we're down both of our healers. Uh, and also... Oh, that's going to hurt a little bit. Okay, I'm down now. Yeah. <laughs> We need more people to be able to withstand that sort of thing. But we held out a pretty long time, considering. That's fine. These things happen. All right, take two. I shall free you from your hate. When the tunes are this good, honestly, a failure just means more time to enjoy it, right? Do not your souls weigh heavy? Oop. That fancy symbol over uh, the tank over there means they're about to get hit with a very wide cleave attack, so it was very good for Nismith to move that over to the corner there. Or that could have hurt quite badly. Oop. Let's carry that far away. Eh. Further. Oh, jeez. I've taken that to a bad spot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Made myself nervous. My grace, my beauty, my everything is yours. Okay. Oh, wow. So many things happening at once. Where's the safe place to stand? Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Here we go. That's better. Almost got this one. Although, do grab one of those. Do not get knocked off the edge. Even if someone does at this point, though. I think we got this in the bag. We got this, yes! Victory! Ah, that was a good time. Good job, all of you, and thank you so much for another excellent Primal Battle win. You all did great. Thank you, Jess, Nismith, Izzy, Asok, Viviko, Astra, and Alexia. You all did a lovely job, every one of you. <laughs> all right. Let me wrap up things here, and then I'll head out, and we can catch up with our buds. You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. So, it looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all. Like every other tribe. Gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. You! You slew our mistress! She was our hope, our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel, don't you see? 
If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Who are you to question our choice? You, who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. I'll go, but it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too, and one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on, Alfino and Alize are waiting. Okay. Meanwhile, in the Royal Palace of Alamigo. Ah, the savage returns, and with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have carried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no longer. If only she had been content with her lot. She might have lived to see the morrow. Fedola Rem Lupus, Commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble so? Could it be that the Empire's Butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own? I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Yes, my lord. You were defeated by the Resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an Icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I... 
I want help. I want to make them pay! All of them! Everyone who ever mocked or looked down on me! I want the power to make them pay! <sighs> Very well. Then I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Transcend, my lord. I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do. That bodes ill. A problem for later, I guess. You finished then. Good. I'm glad it's over. We had to use force to secure the crystals. Alice was not gentle. No, I expect not. Hmm, you yet live? I had my doubts. Welcome back. Thank you. I wish we could have left on better terms. But that was never going to happen. It could be a problem if they get their hands on any more crystals, though. Never mind. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Right you are. We've got enough problems for today. Or rather, for Friday. Problems for Friday. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you on Friday. For problems, among other things. Take care until then, and goodbye!